Pakistan on Wednesday inducted a new ship it jointly built with China into the fleet of its maritime security force, an official statement said. The ship equipped with latest navigation and communication systems was inducted into the fleet of Pakistan Maritime Security Agency, PMSA, at a ceremony held at Pakistan shipyard in Port City of Karachi, the statement by the agency said. The 1,500 tons ship named Kolaki, the old designation of Karachi, is the last of a series of four ships jointly produced by the two longtime allies, it said adding the three ships had already been inducted into the PSMA fleet in recent years. In a separate statement, Pakistan Navy said the vessel will be part of special force raised for security of strategic Gwadar Deep Seaport, and other projects related to multi-billion dollar China-Pakistan economic corridor. China has long been Pakistan's largest defense partner with the latter's growing reliance on the former in recent years following strained ties between Washington and Islamabad. Pakistan sealed a $5 billion deal with China in 2016 for the acquisition of eight Chinese UN class Type 041 diesel submarines by 2028 to address force imbalance with its arch rival India. Also, Pakistan Navy is going to induct new generation anti ship Chinese missile CM302, which is capable of flying at three times the speed of sound. Pakistan on Thursday conducted a successful training launch of Shaheen-2, a surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile, the Inter-Services Public Relations ISPR, said. The training launch was aimed at ensuring the operational readiness of the Army Strategic Forces Command. The Shaheen-2 missile is capable of carrying both conventional and nuclear warheads up to a range of 1,500 km, the ISPR handout said. The launch had its impact point in the Arabian Sea. The Army's media wing described Shaheen-2 as a highly capable missile which fully meets Pakistan's strategic needs towards maintenance of desired deterrence stability in the region. The launch was witnessed by the Director General of the Strategic Plans Division, Commander Army Strategic Forces Command LT Gen Qasim Muhammad Ikram Ahmed, Chairman National Engineering and Scientific Commission Dr. Nabil Hayat Malik, senior officers from the Army Strategic Forces Command, scientists and engineers of the strategic organizations. Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee General Zubair Mahmud Hayat and all three services chiefs congratulated the scientists and engineers on the successful training launch. President Arif Alvi and Prime Minister Imran Khan also extended their congratulations upon the achievement.